You know what I love about Rugby League? The Championship and League One. It's always exciting. It's with great characters. And these people really, really love the game. Let's go meet some of the players, some of the coaches. Have a little wonder around. Come on, let's look. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Landon. Landon. What it? New, new head coach, mate. How are you finding being head coach? Yeah, loving it, mate. Loving it. You know, you're dealing with a lot more stuff uh, day to day, um, but just enjoying, enjoying every minute. The, the lads are a great bunch. We've had a big pre-season, mate. Just can't wait for the season to start now. Here he is, Fitzy. Fitzy, yeah. right. lad. How good, mate? You? Yeah, good. How does it feel to be the, the new skip? Yeah, it's a um, massive honour. I'm really proud as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And like I say, yeah, it's just really proud. We settled in at London because obviously. Us Yorkshire boys don't normally like to travel. Uh, how, is, how are you finding living in the big smoke? Yeah, I'm loving it. I am. I'm loving it. Um, I can't lie. I do miss uh, miss it up north a little bit, like. But no, um, I love it. I'm loving it down there. I'm settled down there now. So but no, it's really good. I'm enjoying myself. The Jewsbury boys, good people. Meet good people. <laughs> That's why I met you. <laughs> how you doing, lad? Yeah, good. Met you. Talk to me about life at the, at the, at the Rams. Oh, it's good. Uh, enjoying it. Obviously, we played Bradford last week. Got a good win. So just looking forward to the season now. And how's the team stacking up? Sports a coach and he's pretty confident. <laughs> Good people, don't we? Scotty, come in, Scotty, come in, come in. Scotty, here we go. Let's get Scotty Morelli in Halifax as well. Good people. Tell us about show the good you people. Team. Show you team. <laughs> good people, mate, good people, guys, don't they? Scotty, obviously you know each other really well. You're looking for another big season. Is this your last this year, do you think? Uh some people I think Mitch thinks it's my last, but uh, I've got I've got another Four or five years. Four or yeah, five I think, years. I think, yeah. How did you, how did you find playing for Ulke out of the week? Uh, it's, it's tomorrow, mate. Tomorrow? Yeah, playing tomorrow. Really looking forward to it, to be honest. It's amazing and, that the club will let you do that. I know, quite. Don't like, get injured. I know, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> Shandy Bass is number one fan. Hi, how you going there? Yeah, Alex Simmons, rugby AM there. So. <laughs> I, anyway, Alex, I'd just like to say, have you had a good day today? Had a great day. <laughs> mate, how's Feverston life treating you? Yeah, really good, pal, yeah. Um, enjoyable. Considering I'm not wrong side at border, but you know, it's a bit cold up there, but yeah. I pulled Duffy out from under the bus this morning. He <laughs> ragged him in it. Yeah, no, it's um, like I said, I'm, in, I'm having a good laugh on that, and we're working hard and we're serious, but there is some uh, some funny Yorkshire lads which I was very surprised with. I thought we were all, all comics were on Lancashire, but now nah, there's a few in Yorkshire as well, in there. How are you doing, pal? Right. Uh, I got a little scoot around. Um, looking for is it his last year this year, do you reckon? You ask him, huh? I've asked him. He reckons he's got four or five left, oh, well, didn't he? There you go. <laughs> well, we'll see. Looking forward to the season, Paul. I certainly am, yeah. Obviously, it's, you know, season launches are fantastic. Everybody gets to socialise and speak to all the coaches. Everyone says they're having the best pre season ever. Uh, we, we, we've not. Have best pre season ever. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. I, I, in terms of results, in terms of performance and improving the squad, I think we do. Yeah, I think we have. It's been really good. We've got a we've got a young team this year, but one that wants to get back into the top four. You know, the, the, the guys last year did a fantastic job albeit left it a little bit late, last game of the season. Um, but we have to be more consistent this year. Too bad, still hanging yeah. around for us. Oh, mate, always for you, Disco. Yeah, Matt yeah, Diskin. Yeah. How do you, mate? All right. How are we looking this year? Because uh, the Bulldogs need a big year. Yeah, we've recruited well. We've got some real good championship experience. And, you know, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be tough because you look at the, you know, they've got four full-time teams, Fev, Fev spending a fortune. And regarding that, but I reckon we could upset a few and see how we go. You've got some great players, this lad next to you, Patch Walker. It looks like a glamour, but he plays like a tiger. He's a good-looking lad, like, isn't he? But he's, um, he's done well to be a rugby player for so long and not break his nose, to be fair. But now we've got, we've got a good squad, Simo. We've got some real depth right across of some season championship players. So that'll hopefully help with our consistency this year and help us achieve some of our goals going forward. The glamour at championship. But actually, looking at the team when you're at training, looking around the boys, it's a really tough league this year. Do you think you've got what it takes to be on top four? Because that's what everyone's going for. That's got to be the aim. Yeah, you've got to aim for it. It's there's no point playing if you're gonna think you're gonna lose every week. You want to win, and uh, that top four is what we want to be getting there. So, yeah. Are you looking forward to a trip to Toronto? Uh, yeah, if I end up inside, if he picks me, uh, it'd, be, it'd be a good experience to go. Coaching with Rads and your head coach the Donny. Yeah. What's the difference? Being a head coach and assistant coach, do you, do you feel a pressure at Donny? Probably, yeah, it's on me, isn't it? <laughs> down, at, down at Hull, it's uh, like I say, Rads and that are good and uh, good to learn off and um, and, and do me, learn me trade through. Um, 
but down at Donny, yeah, it's, uh, I get to play how I want to play a little bit more and um, obviously having access to a few whole lads that I, I know how they play, um, so hopefully they'll strengthen us and um, obviously got some good set of lads down at uh, Donny as well. I was coaching live treating you. Yeah, it's good, yeah, it's going good. <laughs> it's listening to you. Um, they've got no choice some more, otherwise they'll be uh, getting flogged. What's it like up at work in Because obviously not many people get up to Cumbria and it's... I love it. I went into Offbrow last year to watch a game. I absolutely loved it. We're going back this year. Come, what? Come, come how, to how nice. Come to one of our games, we'll put a game on for you. Come to one and get rugby to a game, and we'll treat you a VIP some more. Yeah. What's the VIP package? Very important person package. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Mate, um, what, what's the difference you, you found between, obviously, co playing and coaching? Because you did struggle towards the end of your playing career, you know, coping with finishing and... Is, that, is the coaching filled a, a bit of a gap for you? Oh, yeah, massively, yeah, massively. I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, we all know Cumbria as an area, a really, really massive hotbed of rugby league players have come from there, internationals. You know, if you look through look through the history of rugby league, we've got some really big names come from, from Cumbrian teams. <clears throat> Probably disappointed over the last five, ten years or so with the, the, the teams getting demoted down, uh, down divisions. But as an area, it's it's massive, massive, massively passionate about the game. So the fans are really rugby league mad. Talk to you about life and all, TV. Talk to you about life in Unslip, mate. Yeah, it's going real good, mate. Uh, obviously, uh, two months in the pre-season now and got a game Sunday, so looking forward to it. How old are you now? 21. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stone, 21 stone. <laughs> no, 31. 31, mate. Yes. 31. Is it catching up with your father time yet? No, no, I only play 20 minutes a game, so I'm still young, fresh, and yeah, ready to go. People tell me that Unslip Parkside are a better team than Unslip Hawks. How do you respond to that? We've got them in a week's time, come down and watch. Yeah, I will be there, I will be there. <laughs> they beat you last time, though. It's, it's serious bragging rights, isn't it? Because they're a good team. They are, they are. Uh, we, took, we massively underestimated them last year. Um, they beat us 18-19 uh, with a drop goal at last three or four minutes of summer, and we just couldn't grab it back. But no credit to them, and Mac is a great coach, you know, and he's, they've got a great team there. And I obviously hope they're all the best in Premier Division this year, but they've got it all to come at Southways next week. Right then, I think that's just about enough of the Championship and League One. These guys are up for a big season. We're up for a big season. We'll see you there.